We want to make sure that we have we want to make sure we have the grip down pat. It takes no skill, it takes no talent. It's just attention to detail and practicing those details. Okay. So is everybody here right-handed? Are we lucky about that? Yeah, okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my left hand. I'm going to start with my left hand. And let's just think about something. When we just kind of let our arms hang straight down from our shoulders, and if I bend a little bit, see how my palms of my hands point kind of in towards my body a little bit? They're not like this. So we want to take advantage of that with our lead hand, our left hand, our top hand. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start off getting my club face square to my target line, so square right out in front of me. So let's get everyone out, get, get their club out in front of them so it's square to their target, which would be basically you know, perpendicular to whatever line is parallel to what, that you're on. And I'm going to pull the club over to the side, keeping the club face square, and get my hip, get my hand hanging right down from my hip, just naturally how it hangs from my hip. See that? And I can feel, without even looking at it, I can feel that my thumb is on the inside part of the grip a little bit. And I can feel that the knuckle on my forefinger here has moved a little bit to the outside. And if you look on your grip, you probably have some sort of an alignment aid. And that alignment aid should be going right in between, some center point should be in between that thumb and that first knuckle on your forefinger. Can you angle it down so we can see that? Yep, you're good. Like that, right? Good. So see how your golf pride thing goes right up in between there, right? Your, hey, nice grips, Rick. Look at the same grips. Good, Jay. Awesome, Jerry. See, it goes right in between there. So that's going to be our top hand grip. And the reason we want to make sure we do that is it makes it easy to get the club closing. Now, we don't want to hit the ball with a closed face necessarily because every ball is going to go left for right-handed golfers. But what happens is, if, if I'm more predisposed to allow the club to close, well now I'm incentivized to move my weight into my front foot to get the handle leading, and I'll be able to hit the ball and then the turf. People who grip the club weak like this, well those people, they have a really hard time squaring the club face. If they make a really good swing, can you see that face is open there, Jay, right? Well, well, that's gonna make every ball go to the right. So people who grip the ball weak with their top hand or our left hand, they tend to kind of flip at the ball a little bit like that. And you see them a lot of times with weight in their back foot and the club passing their hands. And we do not want that. We want weight forward, hands forward, and that top hand grip like this helps us do that. Okay? Have I beaten that horse to death yet? Yeah? Bottom hand. So let's take our top hand off the club and forget about our top hand. Bottom hand, I'm going to go ahead and put my bottom hand on as if I was only going to play with one hand on the club. So forget about what you do and just pretend you're going to play just with your bottom hand on the club. So Jay, I'm sorry, Jerry. So your palm of your right hand is the same angle as your club face. See that? Yep. They match up. Jay, same thing. Greg, same thing. Rick, same thing. So what happens is, really intuitively, if we say, hey, just pretend you're gonna play golf one hand and only with your, your trail hand, people almost always put their, their hand on, my bottom hand, my right hand, so that my palm is going the same place as my club face, okay? So now let's see if we can put them together. Top hand on first, I'm gonna bring it over here to the side, right? Right? And then the bottom hand. And there's my grip. 